Okay, let's talk about the regular voicemail function as we know it. This is when you've got voicemail messages waiting for you at your desk. First of all, you'll notice that at the top right hand side of the display, you have a flashing red lamp indicating that there are messages waiting. Also in the screen, it tells you how many messages are waiting for you. The voicemail lamp itself as well is flashing. And if I hit that voicemail lamp, enter your password. Now we have the option to play, save, delete. End of I'm gonna... End of list. To record and send a message, press... Now, you'll notice it stamped on there the date, the time, and the extension number that left the message. But I will also tell you that if that was an inbound call from the outside world, it would be stamping the caller ID onto that message, so you do have the option of returning a caller's call, quite simply. Uh, and although you only saw uh, play, save and delete in the screen of the telephone, had we scrolled across, we had other options such as forwarding that message to other people and so on. So it works very much uh, as you would expect it to compared to other makes of voicemail. Having said that, uh, we've got features also such as cascading. So one of your fears might be that a message gets stuck in uh, a voicemail box and doesn't get responded to, in which case uh, perhaps one of your customers uh, is a little bit irate. So to prevent that happening, cascading, what that can ha what can happen there is we can set the phone system so that if a mailbox message sits there for longer than uh, say two hours, uh, we can instruct the phone system to dial your mobile phone and let you know that there are messages waiting for you in the office. <laughs>